Honorable Abonta. Um, that happened in my constituency uh, on the 19th day of September, where the military are now perpetrating a lot of violence and uh, denying people their basic human rights as a result of a loss of their two soldiers. With their due permission, suspend the rules. Let me take the motion. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any to second the motion that the matter is urgent to be taken now. So second, Mr. Speaker. Okafra constituency is a very rich oil area where a lot of illegal activities and oil is going on. On the 19th day of uh, September, um, two soldiers lost their life. We condemned them, unfortunately, and in the circumstance, we do not know. Mr. Speaker, how since thereafter, the military went on rampage, distressing every person, every youth, the human rights of the people of Kwa East is now in problem. Therefore, I want to beg this house to halt the abuse of uh, the fundamental human rights and freedom of movement of the persons. They've caused more havoc than they've come to do. Uh, therefore, uh, my prayer is to ask the House to call the military to order to halt the human rights violation, and secondly, to ask the, the, the Committee on Army to investigate, and if possible, the Committee on Petroleum to look at the causes that led to the, the killings of these two soldiers and why the people of Ukwa cannot have a rest. Otherwise, if nothing is done in the interim, uh, uh, it, it may look like uh, the OD affair will uh, reappear. It's about to. We can't move. We can't go out. Calls coming from me that most of the youth are now in the bush and hiding and all whatnot. It's going to be very, very serious if this reprisal attack will be carried on. I therefore plead that the committee an army should do the needful and report back to the house within four legislative days. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those against, please say nay. Guys, have it.